Yeah. Uh, Bombay Police. Okay. okay. So on Saturday, um, we had a few reports, one in particular about homophobic comments made during, during the preaching um, towards the uh, LGBT community. Is that a crime? Uh, it will, would be disorderly behaviour. Um, it's a homophobic, homophobic comment? A homophobic comment, yes. Such as? Um, there's comments made, I'll, just I'll, I'll repeat exactly what has been said, okay. but I'll just have to say to you. Yeah. Um, but what? But sorry, what was the? What was I know the the, I know there's freedom of speech, and I'm happy, I'm not going to try and infringe that anybody whatsoever. Yeah. Okay. What I'm saying, um, just be wary of what comments you are, and um, that you are possibly affecting members of the community, especially in the area. That's all that they've yeah, I didn't know it was a crime. To, I didn't know it was a crime to voice your opinion or your religious view from the word of God. But it gets a situation where somebody, uh, part of the members of the community, are being offended. Uh -huh. And um, especially in relation to that's a what we deem as a hate incident. Okay. Um, now a hate incident can involve something like you know if you say something about um, any from the disability community uh, or someone with disability, homophobic or uh, LGBT community, um, it could be racial. Community. It could also be religious. So I mean, there's a lot of Christophobic comments directed towards us. Sir, I'm um, is that against you, sir. I, I'm quite happy to look into right, that. Right. Okay. I, I have no out there whatsoever. Yeah. What I'm looking to do is, obviously, there's been a few reports made on Saturday, and I'm just looking to try and, try and avoid any kind of incident where somebody's offended by, um, I don't understand it, and I know that a lot of people are offended by different things. So I'm just trying to yeah. be worried, worried of what you're saying. Yes, I understand. That. And, but um, I can't, I can't stop to read the Word of God. You know, if I quote the Bible first, just. First Corinthians six, verse nine and ten. Yes, sir. That's offensive. Yes, sir. You know, even reading that out. Yes, sir. But if somebody takes offence at that, then obviously then we're offending God, and Christians are offended because they can't read their Bible in public. Yes, so you understand where the what I'm looking to do. There's, a, there's a different perspective and worldview that's conflicting at its core. You know, so. So what I'm looking to do is what with you. Um, okay. As, as, you know, um, I, I have no issue with you. Um, saying, uh, uh, okay, so we can read the word of God in public okay. then? But in saying that there, be aware of what you're saying. Um, no, you but know. the word of God says homosexuality is a sin. It says that in 1 Corinthians 6. It says it in Romans 1, 24. It says it in various places, Old and New Testament. Yes. So you telling me I cannot read the word of God in public? I be aware of what you're saying, just for the exit of the That's a big, that's a big statement. Yeah. Yeah. So Muslims couldn't read their Quran in public, Christians couldn't read their Bible in public in case homosexuals are offended, is that where we are? I, I'm trying to sir. I'm trying to, I'm trying to um, Yeah, but I'll I'm be, just trying to say to you, you know, it's a bit ludicrous really, you know. Yeah. Loads of loads, loads, loads of Christians that are offended, you know. Sir, if I give my details here before we leave. Okay. And um sir, if you have any issues regarding that there, yeah. I will try and support you as best I can. Okay. I ever I yeah, appreciate appreciate your position. No, I know the place for me at the end, yeah. uh, by members of the community, I'm here to support you as much as I can as well. Right, okay. uh, with uh, I, I'm aware, I work in Bond Bridge for a good while now, yeah. and I'm aware you're here pretty much every Saturday, and yeah. um, sure, probably during the week as well. Yeah. But uh, um, I'll give you my details, and if ever you get any issue regarding anything, I'd advise you to contact police or myself. I mean, you know yourself, we get issues on a regular basis where people spit on us and call us all kinds of things, but we don't run every time to the police. But maybe it's time we do start doing that yes, because sir. it seems like one-way traffic. And so we're actually at the place now where people can be arrested for this kind of thing? Is this where it's at? You know, is that within, is that within your power now to arrest someone if it's perceived as a hate crime? Yeah. That's just to be disordered behavior. I'll, I'll make a record of this here that I spoke to you regarding this here. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I just have to look. Right, this, is, this has been the information I've got is about a member of the community. Okay? Now, obviously, if I came here and reported you on the body cam, um, it's actually like we said, received a homophobic incident, uh, potentially in the realms of disordered behavior there. So, what I'm looking to try and do but is... I, but I need to be clear on this. Am I permitted to quote the Bible in yeah, public? Yes, you're, you're permitted. Okay, because that speaks about homosexuality being a sin. Yeah. What I'm saying, sir, is be worried about what you're saying. No, no, I'm I'm asking you, can I read the Word of yes, God in public? It's a freedom of speech. Okay. Your and where it deals with homosexuality, that's freedom of speech. Well, within my rights, couldn't be arrested. I'm asking, sir, just from the community, 
just no, but they can't be ambiguous or vague on that. It's it's, yeah. a, it's a fundamental right, as I understand it, that it's, I can read the Bible in public. Thank you.